we're checking out the Little Mermaid. Ready? Yeah, ready. Let's go do this. Do your best Little Mermaid pose. Yeah, the screen's on, yeah. Road or it's a problem free. We may have to go tell them the screen isn't working because it's almost time for the movie to start. And there's no picture on the screen, so we're going to go tell them that it's not working. All right, let's go. I got a little note that there's no picture on our screen. So they already knew that there was no picture on the screen and they're sending somebody in to fix it right now. So hopefully our movie's about to start and we'll be able to see it. One in three families in this country cannot abuse between feeding your kid or teen. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. really good <laughs> oh my gosh I liked it I got I got a little teary out in there a little bit huh and a lot of nostalgia in there the original Little Mermaid came out when I was 16 years old and in the original movie the Little Mermaid was 16 years old and so I always related to her Lee Haley Bailey Bailey she's a really good singer and actress and she did a really good job and it was I don't know what people are talking about with the uh, underwater scenes not looking underwater they looked underwater to me and it was colorful to me it was there's some beautiful scenes in that movie so I don't know what people are talking about it being dark and everything yeah it's kind of weird that uh, Scuttle can talk underwater but whatever it's cartoon it's cartoon kind of remake but anyway um it's all fantasy there's not little mermaids either so <laughs> uh yeah so anyway with that i'm gonna give it a pretty high ranking you know probably like not eight and a half nine out of ten um it's it's very reminiscent of the original a lot of the songs are, according to the original, there is a few extra songs in there that were not in the original, but it's a remake, so not everything's going to be exact. And the Kiss the Girl song was not changed a whole, whole lot. It's pretty much the same song, in my opinion. There's one 
line in there that's a little twitched. Yeah, it was really good. I'm uh, I'm kind of very 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 pleasantly surprised, and I just I just fell in love with that little actress. She is amazing. Her voice is I shouldn't call her a little actress, but she's she's a little girl to me. So, um, but I'm very impressed with very strong vocals and uh, just the sweetest countenance and she just made you fall in love with the character all over again so I think it's all a win it wasn't a disappointment I was worried about it because I was I was so attached to the original Little Mermaid that I was so worried that I wasn't gonna like this or it was gonna mess up the Little Mermaid for me in some kind of way you know but it didn't it um it was really good. It was really well done. And um, kudos to Haley Bailey for her performance. And um, I, I'm i pleased with it. Ariel. Yeah, she played Ariel. Yeah, she was a beautiful Ariel. And she sang beautifully. I mean, parts of when she was singing, I actually teared up. So that's when you know it's good, is when you actually get emotional about it her voice just made me get emotional so I like that uh, yeah yeah remembering this from when I was 16 myself and you know I never cried at the original Little Mermaid but I, I almost cried today <laughs> and my eyes started to sting a little bit so what are you gonna do all right, so that's our take on uh, the live action version of Disney's Little Mermaid. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.